It seems no day is complete recently without your daily dose of Ryzen news, and thankfully we have got some as we have the entire range of the Ryzen M4 motherboards pictured in full detail. So the X370, B350 and so on. We have some lovely pictures as well as information on the full range of Ryzen motherboards. So essentially the AMD AM AM4 platform has five SKUs which has the X370 Enthusiast, B350 Mainstream, A320 Essential, the X300 S Enthusiast SFF and A300 Essential SFF. AMD has 42 new motherboards which is pretty crazy. Of course I'm not going to go through 42 motherboards here, that would be insane, but I am going to give you some overall specs for some of them as well as of course showing off all the pictures. So let's kick things off with the X370 and X300 for Enthusiast and SFF M4 motherboards. Now again this is the high end chipset meant for people who just want a high quality motherboard and those who are very into that overclocking and gives some pretty nice low level control and has some tasty graphics card bandwidth to offer as well. AMD is of course referring to the Max PCI Express lanes when it was referring to bandwidth and this is the only chip in the stack that actually supports multi-GPU. It supports both Crossfire and SLI and of course the series will have dual channel DDR4, you know, M2 SATA, USB 3.1, as well as, of course, PCIe, as well as a bunch of other features I'm not going to go through because, well, you know, listing all the features of motherboard, I might as well just start reading the dictionary, but those are probably the features that you care about the most. Now, of course, I mentioned the overclocking support on the X370, and again, it does have full overclocking support with a quite sophisticated GUI that will allow you to just overclock with ease really which is all you really want just making that process a bit less painful a bit less time consuming is always good and of course as with any overclocking it will undoubtedly still require a bit of tweaking to get the best results now as for the b350 that also as well features overclocking support but does have lower lanes compared to that of the x370 since amd has the belief that a lot of users aren't going to be going multi-GPU in this particular area. However, compared to its M3 Plus predecessor, it does have a 70% power reduction, which is also really nice. And we also have an improved DDR4 memory controller, which of course has 22% more bandwidth compared to DDR3, which is nothing to sneeze at. Now of course that leaves us with the A320 and A300 for both Essential and SFF M4 motherboards. Now these are of course the low end chipsets and is basically just your Essential platform and replaces the 760G and A68H based platforms. Now most of the features from the B350 are going to be here but there's not going to be any overclocking support on these motherboards however we do still have you know four PCIe Gen 2 lanes and of course USB 3.1 so on and so forth so these are your more sort of basic yeah they work but there's no extra fancy features motherboards for those who are looking for a cheaper but still efficient Ryzen build for the future. And of course the A300 is for the smaller form factor which is what SFF means obviously and generally HTPC builds and has the best efficiency when it comes to both power and space in the entire product stack and this has apparently been exclusively built for the SFF niche. Now again this does have limited functionalities but will be extremely cheap to again allow not only for these SFF setups but to of course just get a Ryzen build off the ground just for a little less investment. Now, as well as all of this, we have a huge amount of pictures from MSI, ASRock, Gigabyte, ASUS, and Biostar for their motherboards. Now, basically what I'm going to do is, in this video, I will have shown one of each brand. But, again, we have a huge amount of pictures. So, there will be a link in the description below this video to an article where there will be the full range of photos available for those. Of course, I would have already shown the... Uh, B350 and so on that I've already spoken about but if you want to see the full range of MSI and ASRock and so on that are on offer I suggest you check out the link below. Unfortunately there's just way too much to show 
in this video with the time that we have left as that's pretty much the end of the information for today however there you can find pricing information and so on so you can get a good picture of what board or at least something to research further if perhaps you are interested in picking up Ryzen when it finally releases. So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.